So anyways, that's where little skeletons come from. Oh, hey there, Anatomy Super Friends. I'm Dr. Blake Martin from drblake.ca, and I'm here with another Anatomy Quick Bit. Today, I'd like to talk about spinal rotations, particularly the differences between the thoracic and uh, lumbar vertebral segments. The vertebral column looks like something that was designed by Andy Warhol. 24 individual spinal segments that share many features, but there's little differences between each one. Kind of a theme and variation thing going on here. The articular facets, these articular surfaces between each adjacent vertebrae, are what allow for rotation. In the cervical spine, they sit almost completely flat in on relationship to one another, which allows for a great range of rotation up to 80 degrees in each direction, left and right. Um, in the thoracic spine, um, they sit more or less uh, cupped one over top of each other. The superior uh, vertebral articular surface is over top of the inferior uh, articular surface and it allows for a range of about 30 to 35 degrees uh, across the whole thoracic spine so we're talking about two 2.7 degrees for each vertebral segment in the lumbar spine however things are very different the superior articular uh, facet sits inside of the inferior articular facet kind of like a cup and this almost completely prevents rotation of the lumbar spine which is great because you have a whole bunch of tubes and stuff down here that you really don't want to get all twisted up by um, overturning your um, lumbar spine. The change happens right at T12 and this is a fascinating vertebrae in my uh, mind's eye. In the superior uh, articular facet it's shaped like a thoracic vertebrae the inferior uh, articular facet, however, is shaped like a lumbar uh, articular facet. So it's this incredible transition from uh, superior where it's thoracic to inferior where it's lumbar. This all becomes very important when we're talking about movement. If you're hoping to have lots of rotational movement, plan to have it up here in your thoracic and cervical spine. So that way your groovy choreography will include all these rotational movements. Martha Graham knew this, and this is where she put all of her rotations. On the other hand, the lumbar spine uh, has only about five degrees over its whole course. So that's about one or two degrees per vertebral segment. So people who are doing big yoga twists and um, perhaps uh, practitioners who are trying to induce twists in the spine should be conscientious that this part of the spine doesn't twist very much. And if you do force it to twist a great deal, what you'll end up doing is actually putting a lot of the torque on the T12, T11 uh, vertebral segment uh, articulation where there is a great deal of movement and you can apply the forces there. So while there is only a small accumulated uh, amount of rotation available here, it's for a good reason. Your, your body's restricting it. And of course, that's the whole point, right? We want to take care of our whole amazing bodies so that we can move beautifully, even into our old age. I'm Dr. Blake Martin. I said important new symbol. What do you mean my content will not stream? Warning, no libraries were linked as runtime shared libraries? Animation, 